So do you ever get really overwhelmed with lots of stuff coming from different location? Email, Slack, and stuff like that is just too much when it comes to task management. Today, we're gonna to show you how you can use AkiFlow to essentially create a little capture integration setup and really make sure you're capturing your tasks and honing them in in one location for managing for later. So today's feature is sponsored by AkiFlow and is a feature spotlight diving into some of their Gmail and Slack extensions. Let's dive into them in this video. So picture this guys, um, a lot of time we have lots of different things coming into our system like emails and messages from work and all these locations can add up. And this is what AkiFlow wants to do in terms of making an application that basically hones all of your tasks so that you can manage them in one dashboard. So there's two integrations I wanna talk about. The first is Gmail. So the Gmail integration is really interesting because you can set it up inside of the settings area. And once you've set it up, you can set up two rules around this. You can either have your emails starred or your emails labeled. Now, if you're somebody that likes starring just to be able to save it for later, then what's gonna happen is once you've got this integration set up like so, you can star that email and it will automatically pop into AkiFlow, which is great for that impending moments when a new email lands and you just wanna quickly capture it as a task in making sure it doesn't go away, if that makes sense. And the other is if you're too precious about your little stars in your email, <laughs> I was before, um, then you can actually set a label so that any labeled item that is labeled with AkiFlow, which is something they set up if you press the toggle function, and essentially anything labeled with AkiFlow will go into your inbox in AkiFlow, much like the starred experience. So this is great for making sure that you capture your Gmail, but what's nice as well is it links back to Gmail, so you've got context on where the, G, the, the email is and the context of it. And if you do have Superhuman, you can actually have a toggle that switches on that it will take you to Superhuman versus Gmail, which for some people might be a nice time saver. So Slack is very similar. Um, there's actually an ability, once you connect Slack in the integrations page, um, you can actually use the saved function in Slack. When you go in Slack, there's like a little bookmarky thing. And once you hit that bookmark, naturally it will land in your AkiFlow inbox for you to process for later. And obviously what's great about both the Gmail and the uh, Slack stuff that come in, naturally they're linked out to the Slack application and Gmail app, but, you can also time block them, you can start action them as a task, change the title, add duration, due dates, and all that jazz that comes with AkiFlow. So that is how these work inside of AkiFlow. Obviously, this is great for people who are pretty time poor, want to capture stuff, and there's tons more integrations in AkiFlow as well if you are interested in diving a little bit further. So folks, hopefully you found this feature spotlight useful. We've got more coming on AkiFlow and many other tools, so do check them out in the link in the description if you think they're the right productivity tool for you. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio.